Hi everyone, in today's video we are going to see how to create this urban site study using SketchUp and Photoshop. So let's get started. Before we start, I just want to remind you guys that you can see and watch the full length one hour uh, video over here in our Patreon page and you can also get access to our psd file in our patreon page so if you want to watch it all with tips and tricks and a full length commentary uh, you can click over there and, and enjoy so in this occasion we i have worked with my 3d model from my undergraduate thesis so this is more or less how the model looks like and what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, set up a top view where I can see the main project, some streets, and it can be, you know, kind of interesting. And it has to be, you know, I wanted it to be a very nice urban image. Now I'm going to open my V-Ray editor because we want to op we want to uh, have a base as a base our clay rendering, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to open up our our V-Ray editor, and we're going to configure it for it to be uh, only one color and with very soft shadows. So what we have to do is you have to go to your sun. You have to set up a very big size for your sun. And also you have to activate the material override uh, for, your, for your 3D model. Then obviously don't also forget to activate your render elements with your render ID and or material ID, render ID. And um, export it in a good resolution so you can also after it you know add some textures and it will look very good so after this we export it and we also export our line file so you can go to sketchup styles and select only the only the line style and export it as a pdf file and those are the base images that we are going to work with. Once we have our base images, we are going to import them into Photoshop first using clay rendering, then import on top of it the the, the material ID, the render ID, and on top of it the line file, right? So the line file wasn't uh, at the same scale of, uh, of our other images, so we had to visually adjust it by pressing Control T on our keyboard and you know dragging from from the corner and whilst we also desaturated our image so you can go to the adjustment layer and go to a hue saturation layer and put all the saturation down and uh, next what we wanted to do was um, differentiate you know some spaces like the the urban spaces from the streets so what we did was with our render id on we uh we selected only the streets, only the blue blue streets, and we created a new layer and painted that layer a little dark gray. Also, with the urban proposal space, we also wanted to make it a little bit lighter so uh, visually it could get much more your attention. So we did the same procedure, right? So we selected it with our render ID, and then we added a texture by going to blend the blending options which you can access by right clicking on top of your layer and on top it says blending options we added like a, a small nice decent grid and we also added a concrete texture that we downloaded from google uh, after you copy this concrete texture you can duplicate it uh, by pressing ctrl j on your keyboard uh, size it up resize it and make sure everything that uh, you want to be in the image is going to be covered and then we merge the layers and by uh, having the selection of our render ID, we put the filter to multiply and we add our concrete texture. Now I'm going to add some texture to our buildings, the, the main buildings of our proposal. So again, this is the same procedure, right? So we go to our render ID, uh, render ID uh, layer, then we select everything that we want to be selected. Then we add a texture. Like right now, I'm adding textures from the blending options, but you can add textures that you already have of images. Like if, for example, if your project is a concrete project or a wood project, 
or it has a special texture you can add it and obviously i may i always go to i always press Control u for the hue saturation panel and i make sure you know visually what is getting much more attention right so i wanted to make the buildings much more lighter like a soft white so it would have much more uh, visual hierarchy now we are going to add our trees now this is a very a very fun part right because um it's, it's a very different way of adding trees so what you what you want to do is press b on your keyboard for your brush tool now select a circle brush and we are going to size it down a little bit and we're going to start painting in different trees in different areas of our project so i know uh, maybe uh sometimes we just want to do it very fast and we copy all the we, we paste and start painting trees at the same size but what my tip is is that you um, vary it in size right so you want to make some big trees you want to make some small trees some trees always don't have the same uh, distance separation because you know everything is not as perfect as we think it should be so i recommend you guys uh, you know vary the size make it bigger make it make it smaller and as you, as you guys can see, maybe you're asking yourself, why the hell did you paint it black, Stephen? Well, I'm not going to leave them black. Right now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our fill option and we're going to turn it down to zero, right? So what this is going to do, what this is going to do, is it's going to um, make the whole black disappear, so we can add a make other things up here, you know. So so we turn it down and then we go to our blending options by on top of our layer clicking right click and press blending options then we click on the option that says drop shadow and we're going to adjust our shadow as you guys can see our trees are going to have a nice uh, a nice soft shadow to them we want to match it to the soft shadow that we already have for our images and we also want to add a light stroke so you can go to the stroke option and turn down a lot the opacity so we have a light stroke and now we have our trees right so we want to add texture to the image like right like visual texture to the image now since the all this urban uh, context is not as perfect as we want to think it should be i'm going to make some houses darker and some houses lighter so uh, it, it's, it has a little bit more dirty look to it so i'm just again going to select some houses and paint them, the painting them dark gray. Now I'm going to create some cars. This was a very fast way of making cars. So what I did was with a square brush, I did the same thing as our trees, right? I painted a black, tr black, uh, black car. Then I added a drop shadow, then a stroke, and then I copied this car everywhere. Now my mistake over here is that I, I only made two sizes of cars, but you can also create you know different sizes of cars. Uh, remember you want to make them in different directions right so I made one that it was in the vertical direction then another one that it was in the direction of the horizontal streets so that, that as you guys can see with the trees with the cars and everything it's making the image much more interesting and much more visually appealing we haven't uh, actually done the urban site uh, study analysis uh, part yet but we already have a nice base image which we can do a lot of things with now we are going to select our pencil tool and we're going to start drawing what i think is going to be street flows right so this was a technique that i uh, that obviously is was done by our the master alex hogerfer which uh what we do is we various times you know this can you can you can do this many many times with a pen tool you can create the urban flows or the street flows or the street paths that uh, a human would take and you know you want to do this in a very nice color in a very different color and obviously after you do all of this uh, along uh, for a lot of times you unite all of these shapes into one layer then you press Control j to duplicate it and then you go to blur gaussian blur and then the the streets all these lines are, is go are going to have a nice glow to them so as you guys can see i have I'm trying to decide on the color, but you guys can see a nice, the glow of, of the images plus the urban street flows, right? So this is the category that we're analyzing here. But again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create very different uh, layers and categories of analysis because 
in your urban projects, in your student projects, you know, when, when you're analyzing a, an urban piece or when you're analyzing it with your uh, proposal, you have to obviously show different categories, right? So the main idea of this video is to show how you can create a nice clay rendering base to it and then start adding different categories, right? So this is the street, flow, street flows category. Now, what we want to do is obviously add a title to it that says street flows. And, and obviously, if you want to have a north, if you want to have a scale to it, you should, you should put it. Um, now I'm going to start to draw another layer, another uh, category of analysis, which is this is going to be like the plazas, where I'm going to select how to access the different plazas of the project. And obviously you want this in a different color. The colors are very important here because you're going to put all of these diagrams, all of these analysis side by side, right? So they have to have uh, very uh, similar colors, very interesting color palette. If you were going to select very live, very saturated colors, then you know let's make sure all these colors are are more or less of the same family. Now I'm going to select. Now I'm going to create a another urban layer of analysis, which is going to be the green areas. This is not you know very notorious in my project, but but it also it's also interesting because it's a very uh, common category analysis right so you want to create obviously a new layer and then start painting them green and send them to overlay or to multiply so you, the shadows the trees and everything that we have drawn before stays you know intact and we can also see it you can i'm also as you guys can see always experimenting with colors maybe this one wasn't as good enough as the other one and etc etc right so you have to experiment with the colors the typography now i'm writing a text that says urban proposals street flows and visually i'm just framing this uh analysis right so uh what i'm doing is i'm, I'm adding text you can add some necessary text as a like in the in a very like inside frame right so visually you can center your attention on the urban analysis and also created a new layer with a 10 percent opacity black brush so i painted the outsides so again your attention your visual attention would go to the center of the image now we're starting to save all of these urban uh, analysis categories and this is the most interesting part for me so because i finished this image and i was like dude this looks very cool i'm very happy with the result but now since i already did the main image let's explore and see what else we could have done with this and let's just go crazy let's maybe add different colors to it let's you know maybe turn up the contrast let's do different things right so as you guys are going to see in a moment uh, i'm going to just start experimenting with different things like for example what if i uh, multiplied the render right d channel okay this looks good what if i created a what if i colorized the whole image and made it in a, in a mon monochromatic look but with a very different tone to it and i loved that part and the urban street flows category i turned it everything into white right so as you guys can see this is a very um it's a valid option as well. It looks very interesting. It looks looks much more interesting and not so conventional as the other diagrams we were doing. So I really suggest you guys explore more your images. I'm also adding a little bit more of a, a dirt texture to our black and white image uh, because all of these images that if we do with them in a good resolution, if we add a lot of, add a lot of textures, add a, a lot of uh, different important information for our for our the people that are going to view the project then it's going to be interesting right so we want the images obviously to be informative but we want them to be visually pleasing so the per the people who see this project can you know just be be hours and hours staring at these images and be like dude how the fuck did he create this image so so i hope you guys liked this video remember you can see the hour long video and have access to the psd file in our patreon site again with our previous videos you can have access to all of these files and i will see you guys in the next occasion thank you guys for watching